how you do it. Hey, what does it take to get to the top and be successful at work? Well, a lot of it comes down to personality traits, according to the latest research. It's all about qualities such as high adjustment and risk approach. You got those? Then apparently you've got the golden ticket. Hey, let's find out because I want to talk to uh, Ian McRae, who is Director of High Potential Psychologist. You're a psycholo uh, psychology. Yep. You're a psychologist yourself. I mentioned two of those. Mm -hmm. What's the other one? Conscientiousness is one of the, the no, most the important ones. Yeah, the, one, the word that Ambiguity. Yeah, Ambiguity. there you go. So what, yeah. what are... Briefly, what are all these different traits? So these are personality traits that are really consistent ways of thinking, acting, behaving at work. And so because they're consistent, because they're consistent over long term, yes. over lifetime, um, we can really use those to predict not just performance, but potential. So for example, if you're very conscientious, you're self-motivated, you're well organized, you're good at long term planning, that's going to help you at work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you're on time, you're getting things done, and you can do things yourself, then that really helps. How do you measure? How do you, how do you measure that? Well, we ask people. So we've got a questionnaire that is one way of measuring. Yeah. So 78 questions. Because you've come up with a scientific formula, yeah. basically. Yeah. I mean, we yeah. can ask you, were you on time today? Yeah. Are you yeah. usually on time? No. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, no, we go. have a meeting yeah, in the yeah. morning. I've got to be here. Yes, I <laughs> yeah, am. exactly. Right. So if we ask people about these kind of things, gotcha. are you good at organizing yourself? Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. Motivating yourself in the long term? Yeah. There Darn you go. Right. I was say, yep. Yeah. So you're probably quite conscientious. So you came up with this form. You and a, a colleague? A colleague? colleague, Adrian Furnham. Yep. Who used to be okay, at University so you've come up and you, and you, Is this all in this book? You've got it's a book all in the book. High, yeah. high potential. Um, so you then what uh, you sell this formula if you will to businesses yeah exactly we use it in selection and leadership development especially with leaders because we can see kind of the optimal traits that leaders have of these different personality traits so and do those do these per that might be a silly question i'm not too sure but do these personality traits vary globally like one culture is different they do to a certain extent so most of our research has been done in europe and north america and we find they're really really consistent but even in, we just did some research in canada and north america and mm. we found adjustment tends to be a bit higher in canada than the uk and businesses since i mean because i think you said it's about a hundred bucks us dollars a test yeah. roughly yeah. um uh, do are they knocking down the door um are they eager because there's a oh, there's yeah. an older system in place that i think nine out of ten American businesses use the uh, My it's the um, the Myers Briggs the Myers Briggs one yeah. yeah which was developed ages ago and the science behind it isn't great right. so it doesn't have any kind of predictive ability for performance or potential mm. it's kind of an interesting one that's useful to kind of have a conversation with people about their personality but we've got really good evidence and data that this actually predicts leadership potential leadership performance and we find a really clear consistent pattern where leaders and senior leaders tend to have higher levels of these traits and then we've mapped those optimal zones for and, what is and just very briefly do, yeah. do we is it rare to have all, all, all of them? It's rare to have six out of six, so yeah. fewer than 1%. Um, most people, uh, you know, 20%, 30% of people will have one or two right. in the optimal range. Um, but CEOs are rare. High-performing CEOs are even more rare. Mm. So those personality traits are also rare. Okay. Ian, yeah. great stuff. Yeah. I reckon some of these people who've got some of these traits probably at play, play on Wall Street. You and I are going to go to yeah. Wall Street right now just to have a quick flash because I think the markets are up. Yeah, they're not doing too bad. Some good results from Morgan Stanley. Hey, that's it. Oh, United Airlines as well. Hey, I'm back. Same time, same place tomorrow. Follow me on Twitter at BBC Aaron. <laughs> Philip is at the top of the hour with Impact. See you tomorrow. Thank you.